Coach Rod Smith, offensive coordinator at Illinois, came there a couple years ago and put in the spread. He's had extensive experience in the spread, does some really unique things. And one of the interesting things he does is he moves that halfback around more than most people. Illinois is much improved, and the one thing about the spread, the spread used to be a novelty. That means you saw it once or twice a year, now most people are running it. And so defenses, therefore, have got better defending the spread. And one thing that you can see that Purdue's trying to do here is they're going to set the defense, and most people do, set the defense to where the back is because the challenges for the defense are much different. So, for example, Purdue right now knows the back's on this side. This, like you said earlier, the defensive end here knows that he's probably going to get read the read play, right. zone read, and you better calm down and slow down and get under control because the quarterback's reading you. When the back moves over here like you see in the second, there is no read anymore. And so it's a much different play for the defensive end. This happens so fast and you can see uh, it's, a, it's a little nuance to the spread, but it's really hard for the defense to adjust. Right, because even after the back moves over, that defensive end still pick an option and boom, he gets surprised by the tackle. Yeah, he's told so many things. Okay, back your side, read, back away, get ready for pass rush or zone right. at you. So it's just happened so fast. And this is just a little nuance, nuance that you can tell this is a well-coached team. There's a reason why Illinois is much improved. Yes, they have better players, but it's also being very well coached. This is totally cool. Okay, this is a very unique play. Not many people run this. And when I saw this, I was kind of intrigued. And it, once again, it's credit to Illinois. That's where they're having success. Okay, this is a counter play. Remember when you talk about spread, ideally you want an inside run coordinated with an outside run on the same play. The spread one-on-one is zone read. Who's your inside run? The tailback. Who's your outside run? The quarterback yeah, off the reaction right. to the defensive end. This particular play is called bash again. We said that earlier in the week. And bash is just your flipping responsibilities on offense. Offense line is still blocking no matter who's carrying the ball. So what's going to happen here is the tailback is going to come whipping across here. Okay, the quarterback is going to, this is the movement key right. or read key. Okay, the offense line is blocking counter. These players here are going to block down and counter. The left guard is going to pull to trap. The right, guard, right tackle is going to pull, we call it ream, to block the linebacker. The quarterback is simply reading him. I'm going to go slow here, and this is once again well executed. So here, Peters takes a snap. He's reading the defensive end. He feels a defensive end for Purdue settle his feet. If he settles his feet, he's going to give the ball. Got he it. gives the ball. This is now a perimeter run. Notice the offensive line is blocking for just the uh, quarterback. Right. This is called spread uh, double option play. The quarterback can keep it. So once again, this is really cool for the audience to see this. The offensive line is blocking for him. These three guys are blocking for him. It's two. It's an insert run or inside run with an outside run. And uh, who would have thought 20 years ago we'd come back and say this is what college football is all about. But 20 years ago they were running this blocking scheme, but just not this concept. This is an old, old blocking scheme. And so some people say, and once again I'm very biased because I'm a spread guy, is that why would you, let's get under center, get under center. The minute you're under center, this is all gone. Right. It's all gone. You, there's no read element. Now you have to get under center sometimes, I think. You know, but that, that, once again, it's all preference. This is spread offense. You want to put a defense in, in the harm's way or you want to put a defense under stress, have an athletic quarterback that can keep this ball on the counter. This is a counter play to the top. The right guard, right tackle are going to block down. The left guard is going to pull. Left tackle is going to pull. But instead of reading the end, the, quarter, the tight end is going to block the end. So this is now a single option. Okay, when do you do this? So when do you run as a single option? It's your quarterback just got hit. Right. He just got sacked. Right. He just ran 20 yards down the field. He's exhausted or he's making mistakes. You want to call him every, it's in a loud environment. And I would always have on my game plan sheet is there's your single option plays. Those are pure. You have Zeke Elliott, you have a good tailback, give him the ball, take the read off. So this is, as you can see, the offense line is simply blocking counter to the right. Instead of a read, notice the quarterback's not looking at a thing. Right. It's well blocked plus yardage, but now that quarterback was just that's a chance for him to take a breath.